In a political game of tug of war, the powerful Teamsters Union finds itself at the heart of a high stakes showdown. Vice President Kamala Harris is preparing to sit down with Teamsters for a roundtable, but Sean O'Brien, the outspoken union president, hasn't received an invitation to speak at the upcoming Democratic National Convention. The silence from the DNC comes after O'Brien's bold move to appear at the Republican National Convention last month, where he criticized both political parties for failing working Americans. While Democrats have long been the party of labor, O'Brien's involvement with the GOP hasn't gone unnoticed, raising questions about the union's political loyalty. Meanwhile, the Democrats continue to woo the labor vote, with major unions like the AFL-CIO and the United Auto Workers throwing their support behind Harris. But O'Brien's criticism of Trump and Musk's anti-labor rhetoric has fueled further tension, as the Teamsters contemplate their presidential endorsement after both conventions. With Trump's boastful claims of union support and his controversial comments on striking workers, the political landscape is heating up. This battle over the working class vote could redefine the labor movement's place in American politics.